Hey everybody, I just got done picking some bins in town and I also hit a dumpster which I found some interesting stuff in. Stay tuned for that. Alright, I'm burying my setup. Let's see uh, what we can find here. Make sure I got the bungees. Yeah. That one's frayed. This one should work. Alright. There we go. Went inside, got six more. How about that? There's a start. There's not much in here, boys. Girls and scrappers and people. They're curious in what I'm doing. Not a lot out there. Stay tuned. Here we go. Finally found something. I'll be honest with y'all, I don't know what half of this stuff is. I thought bush just made bush beans, you know? Bush beans. We've got white, how many, something with corn, maize. Got me swinging. So far, that's what I have. Not many returnables. I got uh, scrap cans in there and scrap can, cat food cans, MRF at the scrap yard in there so it's just my big barrel and this is my small barrel I'm back to the truck already because the first bin on the left here over yonder filled this one up the little bucket nothing left there but I see a piece of scrap metal Oh, that's heavy. A couple of them. So, that's a new one. Rhubarb soda. I think. Produced by Signature. It's got a New York tag on it, so. It's going. I don't know what the return center is going to do with it. The K probably has something to do with it, though. A couple mineral waters, too. Just picked up a good one. I see that right there. Empty bin now because it was all metal. So it was two soup cans and some aluminum cans and then some plastic bottles. So I thought that was interesting. They separated it by material, you know? Kind of makes sense. You know, in New York, it would make sense, right? Some uh, grapeseed oil. It is metal. It pops like metal. And you can't really, can't really hear it. Some liquid death. There's probably a podcast going on in there in that house. Ain't that nice? What the heck's going on here? There's a few of them in there. I got the. I don't set you guys down to get those. But uh, try number three to get this out of here. My visit number three to this dumpster. Yeah, this thing's still frozen to the bottom. It didn't get dumped last week because it was just frozen in there. Ooh, I see something else too. Hold on. Don't worry about my misses here. Just try to get them from the bush. Okay, now whatever the heck's going on right there, it looks like a backpack and some cords. I'll set you right here. Mm. Alright, some ethernet. I'm 
phone cord. Hmm. A little net gear switch. this box right here. Uh, well, alright, hold on. Some desk phones. We got a pot here, a pot, plain old telephone. I think the other ones were IP phones. Maybe not. Yeah, they are. They're IP phones, they're network phones. Hmm. We have an access point. Router. Hmm. It's kind of, you know, small office, home office stuff. Like it just could just be an extender, really. Could be used for all that stuff. Pickle Rick and you smoke something out of it. Moment of truth, right? Nothing. What do you think's in there? bottles and some electronics, right? And a bag full of weed. Alright everybody. That about does it for me. Really, I think this is the least I've gotten from this town. Like ever. But it kind of makes sense. A bunch of snowbirds. A lot of vacant houses right now. Thanks for watching.